Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Patton's Best. Uh, for some crazy reason we're still alive. Uh, this is episode 23, so it's our 23rd uh, mission basically. And our next rolling here is going to be on uh, counterattacks. That is the 25th of November. Combat will most likely happen. It's going to happen on a roll of 7 or lower. So let's check straight ahead. Uh, 7 or lower. And we're all on 8, so we don't have any counterattacks. Wow, that is wild. Next one is a, a counterattack, which will happen on a roll of 2 or lower. And roll of 5, so we don't do that counterattack either. And then we have an advance with medium resistance. It's Wolfkirchen. And roll 10, so there is no advance. And then we have three advances with light resistance, cleared zone of responsibility. Uh, it's light resistance combat occurs on a roll of two or lower. And roll of one, so the first one is combat. Okay. We check here, situation is light advance. There we go. And the date is going to be the 28th of November, 1944. So yeah, we're getting close to December now. And December, I think, December is going to be the... December is going to be the, the... The month that will determine if we will survive or not with our commander. I think if we survive com in December, we have a good chance of surviving the rest of the campaign. But uh, I think it's going to be rather hard to survive uh, in December. Uh, all right, let's check here. We have load ammo. We do as usual. We take 14 HCBI. I never fired smoke with the main gun. Uh, 30 AP and 60 HE. Uh, and then we consult the weather table. We are still in November, so 1 to 61 is clear. And we have 35, that's perfect. I'm always happy when I get clear weather. Uh, all right, uh, we will consult extra ammo table with a D10. And roll a nine, so that means we have to bring 30 extra HE rounds. That's not very nice. Uh, let's see here. I don't know what I wrote there. It should be 60 plus 30. And then 10 extra 30 cal boxes. Uh, load ready rack, we go with two of each. And the term and amount of daylight available. We are in November, so it will be from 7.15 to 4.15. A lot of time lost here just because it's November. And then we roll, let's see here. Determine time and ammo already expanded. We want a low number. We get five. That's all right. Five is going to be uh, a total of two plus three hours spent. Let's see here. It should be. Like that. So one hour, two hours, and three hours. And that's gonna be times one 30 cal boxes times two HE rounds. So we go from 10 extra to five extra 30 cal boxes. And from 20 extra, sorry, from 30 extra to 20 extra HE rounds. And then we have to determine our tank's deployment. We're a jumbo tank, so very likely we would be lead tank, but we actually are hold down now on a roll of one. Uh, mark any open hatches. We go ahead and open them all. And mark the round. We go with HE. Uh, face the uh, turret and Tank in direction to the side, yes. 
position loader and commander spot marker. Please use control markers and mark the weather. There is no weather is clear today. Determine starting area. And we have starting area is going to be four. So we start here with our task force. And exit area is going to be nine. Oof, that's quite far away. Uh, that's not very nice. Uh, that means we're going to have a tough time getting there. Let's see where we want to go. I want to go to the B areas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be a long travel time, but it is what it will be. If we start here with B. Resistance check. We have light resistance. And since we have such a long way to go, I'm basically all of the B, uh, sorry, all of the light resistance area, I'm just gonna skip calling in for any airstrikes or anything like that. We mark off 30 minutes for uh, driving on that dirt road. We go from 35 to 33 fuel, and we will roll for advancing fire. We roll a two, so that's one of each. So we go from 35 to 34 30 cal boxes and from 20 HE rounds to 19. And then we're all to see if there is combat. We will have combat on a roll of 8 or higher. And roll a 7, so no combat. We capture uh, an area for 1 VP. We check. Ah, and I should have went. Um, Okay, I'll just redo it. I should have went into this area. I think that was my... No, no, no. That was my original plan to go there. Okay, so uh, I'll check resistance for this B area. And roll a 10. So that is going to be medium resistance. And that's not really what I want. I'll check... Let's see here. Can I take another way? Not really. And the travel time is going to be 30 minutes, one hour, one and a half hour, two hours, two hour, 45 minutes, three and a half hour, four hours, four hours and 45 minutes of just travel time. So again, we're in this really bad situation where we, we really don't have time enough to, to call in for any artillery strikes. It's just going to be, uh, um, no, it's not going to happen. Uh, I'll move in with my task force. We mark off 30 minutes driving on that dirt road. Roll for advancing fire first. And we roll a nine, so that's going to be four of each. We go from, oh, I can't see what it is here, but I think it's a one. Uh, 15, okay, so we have 30, 30 cal boxes left and 15, I think that was supposed to be a 4, so then we have 10 AG rounds remaining. Uh, okay, have the roll to see if combat occurs, combat occurs on a roll of 6 or higher, and roll of 6. It's very unfortunate, then we have to mark off 15 minutes for the combat. And we have three enemy units to activate since um, it's a medium resistance. 38, which is a light weapon squad. 27, which is going to be a self-propelled gun. And last but not least, we have another self-propelled gun. Uh, Alright, so let's roll for area. Fuck. Let's roll for area for the light weapons. And then area for the SPG. Area for the other SPG. Uh, distance for close weapons. And then there's terrain. And it's a B area. So that is going to be woods, which turns into a fortification in November. And then we have, yeah, I should have placed out my advancing fire, but as always, of course, I put them in the close, close range areas and medium range areas. Uh, range for SPG, the other one range is going to be, uh, it's going to be facing, which is going to be for an SPG, uh, it's the side. 
other one's facing is going to be also the side terrain for the first one, which will be hold down. Terrain for the other one. Six. Let's see here. B area. That's in the open. Uh, okay. So first of all, we roll for advancing fire. Against the light weapons, we need a roll of 1 to 39. And we get it. We get 5. So the light weapons retreat from their fortification. And then we roll for the SPG, which is a Stug. We will make him retreat on a roll of 1 to 29. And roll 74. That is not enough to make him retreat. We roll to see if there is an ambush. Ambush occurs on a roll of 1 to 7. Roll nine, so there's no ambush. That is very, very rare. Uh, so that means it's it's our turn. We begin by spotting. My commander will attempt to spot this one. And roll a two, so he's spotted and identified. Roll on the gun appearance table a one, meaning it is a Stug three. Uh, let's see if this one is that. And then we go. Ahead. We should remove the advanced fire markers as well, of course. And then we go ahead and attempt to spot the next one. And roll a 10, so he is hidden. Okay, pretty easy to know here what to do. We're gonna go ahead and um, we'll close our hatches. Because we cannot fire this turn anyway. And then we're gonna go ahead and pivot our tank. Change gun load to, um, to AP. Course. we only have armor targets so we don't want HE and of course we're gonna go ahead and fire some uh, some fire here with our bow MG and our coaxial so first we pivot our tank and as we do that we lose our hold down status which is unfortunate and then we roll for uh, we'll change gun load to AP And then we go ahead and roll for the 30 cals, and the bow MG spends one ammo box, and the coaxial does not. There's no gun malfunction. We go from 30 to 29 30 cal boxes. And let's see here. Then we have to roll for the enemies. So first two at long range. Rolls 81, which is fire at your tank. He has a 75L and he fires at long range. He will hit us on a roll of 67 or lower. That's pretty bad. Let's see our modifiers. First shot from tank or SPG is a plus 10. So his 67 turns uh, into a 57. And if we still were a hold down, a hole or track hit would be a miss. But it's what it is. Okay, so it is gonna be uh, 57 or lower, he hits us. And he rolls 63. So we barely make it. Wow, that was, that was tense. Then we have the Stug, which rolls 27. That is gonna be moved to the left. And here again we have that, watch what, what is left and what is right. Uh, it's very hard to say, but I'm gonna say that left is into this area. So he captured the US sector, which also means we have to roll for new terrain. The new terrain is open, the new facing is rear, and he is moving. Okay, and then we're all for friendly actions. So first one to knock out that Stug, we need a roll of 1 to 36. And we're all 17s, so we do get that Stug. And that also removes our acquired by enemy marker. 
And actually that one was hidden, so he couldn't fire at us. I usually forget that. So that's good that he, he didn't hit us, because that would have been a major fog of war. But yes, hidden enemies cannot fire at you. But if they fire at you, you know, on the advanced scenario, nothing, nothing happens. Uh, right, then we have the next Tug, again, 1 to 36 to knock him out. We rolled 72, so that is not enough. Then we have random events. And we have 85, which is flanking fires. So we attempt again to knock out this Stug, and this time we roll uh, 1 to 46. And we roll 21, so we take out that Stug as well. So we mark off on our after action report, knocked out um, self propelled guns. There's two of them knocked out, and that was a random event, so that ends it. So we go back to the chart hit the Termio tanks deployment table. Deployment from the deployment table. And we're all 81, which is unfortunate. That means we're gonna be moving and we're the lead tank. And we don't wanna be the lead tank. Uh, let's see here. Yes, sir. Mark the open hatches. Yeah, we'll keep. Okay, we'll open them. So we can spot enemies easier and hopefully make them less deadly. Man, I have the most annoying neighbor. She's speaking on the phone with um, with earphones, so she cannot hear how loud she is, but she is very loud. Uh, we changed our gun load to HE. Not sure if you can he hear her. She's not speaking Swedish or Danish or English, that is. Uh, have we done everything we should? Face a tank, yes. Position loader. Let's use control. There we go. I knew we were missing something. Uh, okay. So we will check next area resistance, but before we mark second area captured and we check resistance for this B area now and roll a six which means it will be light resistance so we move into the B area we spend 30 minutes moving on the dirt road we roll for advanced fire which we use eight that's gonna be four of each so we go down to 25 30 cal boxes and we still have six extra HE rounds. And then we roll to see if combat occurs. Combat occurs on a roll of eight or higher. <laughs> roll 10. So again, we have combat. That is very annoying. Uh, since we are lead tank now, okay, two targets. First one is 21, which is an AT gun. That is horrible. Second one is 95, which is a Spewagen, Panzer Spewagen, and it's gonna be a Spewagen, I think. Yes, a Spewagen. Where are you? So the 80 gun will spawn over here, and the range will be for the 80 gun, 8 long. Terrain will be in a B area, woods. And yeah, I mean, I always forget to place these these days, but you guys know I will only basically use it in 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 uh, short and uh, long range. And our we'll go in let's see here close range facing will be the side, and terrain for our half track will be open. Okay, so we first roll on advanced fire against the uh, half track. And the half track will be retreating on a roll of 1 to 39. We roll 88, so that is not enough to scare him off. So we remove our advanced fire markers. And let's see here. We roll now to see if there is an ambush. 
one to seven we have an ambush yes that's horrible we're in trouble now so first let's roll for the Spielwagen and we roll 35 for Spielwagen 35 uh, plus 10 because it's an ambush that's 45 so he moves to the left so we have the roll for new facing and that's gonna be the front and new terrain is gonna be open and he is moving in the open and then we roll for the 80 gun which will have a plus 20 and we roll 38 which turns into 58 fire at any tank okay long range with an 88 ll means kill on a roll of 61 or higher lower 75 so we barely make it there our friendly is okay uh, okay i should have noted two less fuel here for moving <sighs> what do we do we begin by spotting we attempt to spot the spearwagon and we roll three he is spotted i'm trying to spot with my commander uh, with a rating of nine and then the 88 with my commander we roll a three so it will be spotted and identified uh, with all the modifiers we roll on the appearance table we roll a two that's good it's a 50 l usually get master ones so i'm definitely happy with that it's a pack 38 so it's not really that uh, dangerous okay so we will hmm let's see I'm wondering if you change gun load, can you fire or tank movement, tank main gun fire, mark off ammo, roll to target, throw repair, mark in advancing, conduct fire against the targets, remove, knocked out, record. I'm a little bit unsure of if I change gun load now, can I still fire on the Spewagen? I wonder what the chances to kill him with HE is. To kill uh, HE to kill vehicles. A Spewagen, that's a roll, roll of 28 or lower I kill him. So it's not very good. It's not a very good chance. So what we will do is change gun load here. Let's see here. Change gun load to AP and then we shall pivot our tank. No, we'll not pivot. We will simply rotate the turret. And yes, we will rotate the turret and fire. And then our commander will direct fire. Our assistance driver will uh, fire the bow MG. So I'm I'm a little bit unsure because now we're currently with HE change gun load. So which occurs first? Do you fire first or do you change gun load first? Uh, I I'm gonna say that you can change gun load first uh, because it doesn't necessarily say here order segment. It's order segment. Oh, so ammo reload is first, so mark ammo reload on tank card if fire main gun, mark on tank card if ammo to be drawn from ready rack. Uh, okay, so we will load from ready rack as well. And then you have ta tank main gun fire, mark off ammo, roll to hit target on the correct uh, to hit table, mark a hit with either a HE or AP. So it doesn't say here that uh, if you change gun load, I'm just going to check it in the rules a moment too, just to make sure I'm doing everything I can to. So loader here, change gun load, change the uh, ammo round in the main gun to any round still available, may spot, which is weird since it doesn't have a spot marker, so that is uh, that is more errata. errata. Uh, so, so and that is the same if you're loading you can't spot but there is a spot mark that is also an error of the game okay so it doesn't say here anything about that that i cannot uh, fire so okay we first of all we change the gun load from he to ap and then we fire now 
AP. Uh, and let's see where is our where do I put my after action report. So one bad thing is gonna happen now, and that is that I can only fire one row round because I will not be reloaded. So we mark off an AP, we go from 30 to 29. And let's look at this table. To hit a uh, vehicle target at close range, we need 75 or lower. And then we have a uh, uh, minus, what is it gonna be? 18, 27, because, uh, 27 because of our crew rating. So it's basically it's 100 plus. And then we have one bad modify, which is gonna be rotate turret plus 10 per sector. So that's the only one we currently have. Uh, target moving also I think we have. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, target fortification, target and building target, wood, Sherman moving, very large. Fog, rotate. No, we don't have any target moving, but we have a plus 10 for sector. So our uh, 102 turns into 92 or lower to hit. And we're all 54, so we hit the target and we hit it with AP. And now normally we could get try to get a rate of fire, but since the loader is actually changing gun load instead of loading, meaning that we don't have now uh, we don't have um, uh, anything to shoot at him with. Uh, so we need to spend one round of just loading. So now that we hit him with the AP, we have also acquired the target by one. We need to roll to see if we actually kill him. Uh, AP to kill vehicles, and it's a uh, puncher spearwag, a 95 or lower, he's dead. And roll 54 again, so that is uh, that is a nice kill. And that is gonna be, let's see here, that's 2 VP. So we go from 18 now to 20 personal VP. And then we roll for our advancing fire with the bow and G. Let's get rid of this, uh, there's too many markers otherwise. I say. Yes, sir. Uh, what were we gonna do? Yes, uh, bow MG, not fire. 94, also the turret should be over here. Uh, okay, no problem. Did I forget anything? No, I don't. Uh, then we have enemy action and we roll for our AT gun. Which rolls 74. 74 for an AT gun is fire at lead tank, which is us. So it's a 50L. 50L at long range needs a roll of 34 or uh, lower. But first shot, okay, that's only regarding tanks or SPGs. Uh, okay, that's bad. Uh, Sherman is moving, so we still have the moving marker on us. Uh, and that is a plus 20 to the roll, so 14 or lower he hits us. 89, so he does not hit us. Very good. Uh, okay, so it's friendly action now, and to kill the AT gun we need a roll of 1 to 29. And roll 48, so that's not enough. We roll on random events table. And roll 38, which is gonna be friendly advance. So we go ahead and capture this area. And, okay, it's spotted, what should we do now? We load with our loader to get a round in the main gun. Or, let's see here, gunner will fire. Let's see here, now he's gonna rotate the turret, so it goes into the direction of the tank is facing. and. Let's see here. Our commander will fire the 50 cal. And our driver will pivot tank. And we will roll reload with AG. And remember to put a marker here on the loader because he cannot spot while. Oh, actually, he can spot, and that is a strange thing. The loader can spot if he's loading, but he cannot spot if he's loading while firing a main gun. A little bit weird, but that is the rules. Uh, okay, 
So first we have movement, so we go ahead and move up, pivoting the tank, and then we have our gunner who rotates the turret like so, facing the puck. And then we have our 50 cal and bow MG. Bow MG fires here and 50 cal fires here. So we roll first for the 50 cal, and nothing happens, and then the bow MG, nothing happens. And then we have enemy action again. So our 80 gun will, on a roll of 22, will do nothing. That's odd. And then we have friendly action. We take out the 80 gun on a roll of 1 to 29. And roll 95, which is not enough to take him out, but it is enough to smoke him. And we roll on random events table. And roll 11, which is going to be friendly artillery. So we get one more chance to take out the AT gun. 1 to 20 we kill him, but we have a modifier here. Minus 3 artillery versus 80 guns in woods. So on a roll of 1 to 23. And roll 18. So thank you, we take out that 80 gun. We mark off a kill for 4 VP. Man, I, I am feeling like, okay, maybe I'm just lucky uh, most of the time, but I'm feeling like we are getting very efficient we i mean we have a pretty good tank it's it's a jumbo uh but i, I still feel like we're doing very good uh, okay we have to roll all again on the first let's capture the area that's our third captured area for today let's roll on the deployment table hopefully we will not be the lead tank anymore we're all 25, 25 is stopped, and we're not the lead tank. So we move the moving marker, and the lead tank marker. All right, we roll for next, um, oh yeah, we should clear our, the term you take deployment, mark any open hatches, keep them open, mark them round, it's, we're gonna go with HE. Uh, face the tank and turret in direction to the side, yes sir. And let's remove these uh, markers here. It feels like one of the hard parts is getting uh, a high personal uh, VP because the easy targets, which are easy to kill, they're quite fast, they're killed by friendlies. We check for resistance in this B area and roll a 10, no! Why are we so unlucky? Let's check then the C area. That's gonna cost us 50 minutes of time, but we'll check the C area. And roll a nine, so we have medium resistance in that area as well. Ah, yeah, we're just gonna have to do it. So that takes us 45 minutes of time since there is no direct road. We use advancing fire. 10, that is 5 of each. We go from 25 30 cal boxes to 20, and from 6 extra main gun AT rounds to 1 extra. Uh, combat will happen on a roll of 6 or higher, and roll of 5, so we were lucky. Sometimes the gamble pays off. That's 1 VP. We check uh, resistance in the D area, and also we should mark off the fuel. I don't know why I'm still doing it, but I can't stop now. I've done it for half a campaign, so I gotta, I gotta do it until the end. We check for resistance in the D area, and roll of three, so that is light resistance, that's good. We move into the D area, that's 45 minutes for, there is no direct road into the woods, and that's one fuel, so we go from 29 to 27 fuel. We roll for advancing fire, we roll an eight, so that's four of each. So we go from 20 30 cal boxes to 16. And we go from one extra. So basically we have 60 main gun rounds plus one extra. So we go to 57 HE rounds. And we check to see if there is combat. Combat will occur on a roll of eight or higher. And roll of three, so there is no combat. Uh, we check resistance in this A area. Mm, yes. And we roll a 10, so that's medium resistance. We're not going to take that route. We use 15 minutes, I guess. 
is here to travel 45 minutes, one and a half hour, two hours and 15 minutes. That is exactly how much we have left. Okay, let's check resistance for this area for 15 minutes. I roll three, so that's light resistance. So we go instead to the A area. We span two fuel. And then we spend four to five minutes going into that area. I think I marked the fuel. Advancing fire, three, that means one. So we go from 16 to 50 in 30 cal boxes. From 57 to 56 HE rounds. Combat will occur in an A area with light resistance on a roll of seven or higher. And roll nine, so oof, we have combat. And I was hoping we wouldn't because now we have to mark off another 15 minutes. So basically we will only be able to get to the exit area if we have no combat in the next A area. That is, that sucks. That is, if that happens, that is the first time in this whole campaign uh, where we actually will have lost uh, a mission because we have won every single mission even you know when we were knocked out that is uh, so that's gonna be a first anyway let's start with this combat we have two enemy units to activate this 46 is the first one and let's put out our advanced fire markers first 46 is gonna be a truck let's see where you are baby and next one can we get another truck please 79 that is an 80 gun So the truck will spawn over here at, let's see, I think that is medium uh, for a truck. Yes, and um, his facing, although it doesn't matter at all, will be the side. And his terrain, six, and we are in an A area, is the woods. Then we have the AT gun. With a nine, so it also goes here. Distance will be medium. Uh, yes, and his terrain will be also woods, I believe. Uh, yes, woods. So we got an 88 and we got a truck in the woods, but we have advancing fire that will affect both of them. So we'll start with the truck. To get the truck, or to make him retreat, we need a roll of 1 to 69. And we get 66, so the truck retreats. Otherwise it's just a shame because it's nice to shoot them, so it's like 3 VP. And then we have the 80 gun, and the 80 gun we will make retreat on a roll of 1 to 29, I think? Let's see here. Yes, 1 to 29. And we get 28, so we also get the eight, you know, the AT gun. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, that is awesome. Let's remove the advanced fire markers. I'm really hoping this is gonna go uh, that we have no combat in the next area. I just wanna finish, I just wanna complete the mission, whatever you know, that will be the first fail. Let's roll to see if we have an ambush. Yes, we have an ambush. We have to roll on the ash. Oh, I see, man. We have to roll on the random events table once. And we roll 17, meaning enemy artillery. So, first of all, how many die? One infantry squad, one friendly infantry squad dies. That's loss of 3 VP. And then we have to roll, unfortunately, on the collateral damage table. That's super annoying. We roll 70. Uh, 50 caliber broken. Put that here. And then, you know, we have time to act. So we'll close all our hatches. And we fire. Advancing fire of the... F no, I'm just gonna roll for a lot. We're gonna put out the orders. To see if ammo is expended, no. And then we roll once more on the random event table. And we roll 45, which is gonna be friendly advance. And uh, you know, it is the end of that battle. So we don't care about that. Uh, and we attempt to repair 
the fifth cow and we're all 13 which is gun repaired let's see here where's the fifth cow there it is and then we have to okay so we'll stop by capturing there we already did we mark one vp one two three four five six this is our sixth captured area of the day one two three four five six that's pretty good uh, yes, and then we roll for resistance in this A area. And we roll a two, so that's fortunately the right resistance. Hopefully we don't have combat. Then we restart. We have to determine our tanks deployment from the deployment table. And we roll 16, which means we are stopped. And we are... Just stop. We're not lead tank. Yes, uh, mark any open hatches. Let's open them all. Mark them around. We go with HE. Yes, sir. Okay, so we have one hour left. We move into this area. That's 30 minutes because it's a dirt road. And two fuels. We go from 25 to 23. Since it's, uh, oh, we'll use advanced with fire. Five, that is two of each. We go from 15 to 13, 30 cal boxes. And we go from 56 to uh, 53 HE rounds. Uh, combat will occur because it's an A area with light resistance or seven or higher. And we roll a one, that is extremely lucky. If we were all anything higher, we would have lost this day's mission. We roll for uh, resistance in this A area and roll a 9, meaning we're going to have medium resistance. And then we spend our last 30 minutes of the day moving into this area. And we mark off 2 fuel, so we go from 23 to 21 fuel. And we roll again for advanced 5, we roll a 3, that's one of each. We go from 13 to 12 vertical boxes from 53 to 52 HE rounds. And now we have the last area uh, with medium resistance. Combat will occur on a roll of five or higher. And we roll a one, so there is no combat. Whew. Lucky, and that is, the, that is the exit area. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, captured areas, one uh, uh, captured exit area. So again, I've got to say we did very good. I mean, we went all the way here uh, in, in November with not a lot of hours. So let's evaluate our mission here. We have lost one infantry squad. So we lost three VP to friendly forces losses. Uh, we have a personal VP two for our tank. Friendly force is going to be 12 plus 4, that's 16. Uh, and then for captured territories, we have 7, which turns into 14 with the advanced captured map area modifier. And then we have 10 for the captured exit area, which turns into 20 with the modifier. So for territory, we have 34 VP. So our total VP is going to be 52 minus 3, that's 49. Again, a successful day, and I gotta say, I'm really, again, I'm really proud. We took out an enemy, we went, oh, you know, on the other side of the map. We didn't call in for artillery strike a single time, but we still made it. So I'm definitely proud of my boys today again. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna roll for crew advancement. Uh, our commander, Sergeant Dianiri, needs a roll of 10. He gets four. Our gunner, uh, Corporal T. Brayton needs a roll of 10. Mm, close, almost. Our loader, uh, Private W. Peterson, needs a roll of 10. Uh, yes, sir! Very nice, Peterson. He gets 10, which is the highest ranking of the game. That is just epic. Uh, Nico, uh, our driver, who is a private, needs a roll of 7 or higher. He gets a free. Uh, our system driver, Private Premi Jack, also needs a 7 or higher. He gets an 8, so that's perfect. Wow, we have a high crew rating now combined, and that is perfect. We're going to have refit soon, and of course we're going to get into another tank. We're going to get into an easy 8 again with uh, you know better gun. And then most of all, we're going to train... 
we're gonna train so that we have the gyro stabilizer of course because uh, that makes it much more easy to target enemy enemy units uh, guys thank you so much for for joining me another very successful mission i gotta say i uh, think it is in my opinion anyway so uh, and with the crew advancement on top of that that is just perfect uh, I really hope next mission will be as good, so you know, we're getting to the end of November, so we're soon gonna be in December, and then, well, shit is gonna hit the fan most probably, but we'll try to deal with it as good as we can, and we're also coming up on our refit, so we'll get into a little bit of a uh, better tank than this. Uh, I hope you join me for the next episode, if you're not subscribed, uh, I'd recommend to get subscribed, because that way you see the latest episodes. Also helps me out very much if you liked the video and uh, commenting on the video is just for me. That's just so fun to see people. You know, I can have a thousand views, ten thousand views. It doesn't matter if no one comments. It doesn't really feel like anyone is watching. So if if you have the time and energy to do that, I, I'd highly appreciate it. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I will see you next time.